Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're in my kitchen. And I'm wearing a hat. Inside. You can just need to deal with it. This is like the far side of my kitchen. Um, all the, like the cooking stuff's over on, on that side behind you. You don't need to see that. It, it, uh, it's fine. Alright, so today I'm going to be doing something I said I wasn't going to do. Well, I said I didn't want to do it. I, I still don't really want to do it, but your comments have been loud and clear. <laughs> here, here we are. We're going to do a sound test. The sound test is going to be on these little guys. I made them for a build video I did last week. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out right up here. Um, I'm also going to be giving away these speakers to one of my awesome subscribers. So if you want to enter into that, you can check out this video or enter in the description. Um, follow the link. There's a bunch of ways to enter and you can enter multiple times. So good luck. Okay, so I'm going to be splitting this test up into two parts. The first part, I'm going to power these speakers with a small Class D amplifier by Dayton Audio. Uh, it's pretty good. It's around 30 watts. It's cheap but it's a little noisy. But for the second part, I'm gonna be taking these speakers over to my main setup and see if we can hear a difference with the different components. So before we start, we have to talk about our goals and expectations for this test. Um, right off the bat, no matter what you may think or what others might have told you, uh, this test is by no means an accurate representation for what these speakers sound like in real life. So first of all, you're listening to a compressed version of what these speakers are outputting. Uh, secondly, you're not actually here, you're not present to hear with your ears the sound waves that these speakers are producing. You're actually listening to the sound waves that your speakers are producing while you're listening to this video. So these speakers will only sound as good as the speakers that you're listening to this video with. So I would suggest listening to this video with good headphones uh, and just keep all of this in mind before you decide to comment, please. So these speakers were made with the goal of an easy and fun project that someone could do with minimal tools. They weren't designed for critical listening, but I think they sound pretty good for what they are. Okay, so I'm gonna play three songs, uh, a jazzy song, a piano piece, and then kind of an electric song. I don't really listen to like EDM or any like electric music really. So if I if the song's bad or you think it's bad, I'm I'm sorry. I just picked like a fun one. Hopefully it's hopefully it's pretty good. Um All right, let's do this. Here we go.
So the setup in my living room, my main setup, changes all the time. But currently, I'm using a DAC and a preamp from Shit Audio. Yes, they're called Shit Audio. They're awesome. Google them. They're good. Uh, and then a power amp from Topic. So the signal will go through a fiber optic cable from my laptop to the DAC, from the DAC into the preamp, from the preamp down into the power amp, and from the power amp to the speakers. And that's how that works. All right, let's try it. See if there's a difference. Woo! So could you tell a difference? I think I could definitely tell a difference, especially in the sound floor of the music. The Dayton small audio amp had just this super loud, hissy, like nasty sound floor that just was too loud. It was distracting. The, like my main setup is at, like much, much quieter. And I think it did sound a little better, but uh, Hey, you know, they're little, they're like three inch speakers. They're, they're, <laughs> that's pretty good for that. Um, anyways, I, I do have plans for those speakers to make them, uh, the ceramic speakers on my website. They're free. Uh, go make your own. See how they sound in your home. <laughs> uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching. And let me know, actually, just a second. We're not, we're not leaving yet. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, I wasn't too keen on doing test videos, sound test videos, but I think adding all this other stuff might have been uh, a little a little better, a little more fun. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll do a sound test on my big speakers. Maybe I'll compare the small speakers to the big speakers. Or I'll put that tiny little amp on my big speakers. Compare that with, with the... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Alright, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Alright, bye.